Mandy Leon about to join me here on commentary. Certainly a very special guest indeed. You've seen her in the Women of Honor and now you'll be hearing her here at the MFPW Arena in just moments. Mandy Leon showing some Appreciation to the fans there. Right. Mandy, welcome to the commentator's table. Feel free to put the uh, the cans on here. And right. See that you do this right. So far, so good, it sounds like here. We are gearing up, Mandy, for a huge opening match. Yes. In, yes, a, a four on four elimination tag team match. Four of Ring of Honor's finest taking on team the MFPW. It's uh, a battle of factions, as it were, as far as the, uh, the, the different organizations. Yes, you know, Ring of Honor and this company is amazing right now. We have this great partnership with the Monster Factory, and everything is going amazing. So I'm excited for this one. I'm very excited. Oh, I, I'm, I'm extremely excited. Here they come. Will Ferrara. Yeah. One of the four representatives from Ring of Honor here in this eight-man elimination tag team match. The rules of it, if you lose by pinfall, submission, or disqualified, or are counted out, you are eliminated, and the remainder the remainder of your team members must be left to fight with the deficit. Oh, now we've got Rick Titus. Rhett Titus, part of All Night Express. Certainly no stranger to tag competition. Not at all. And providing a word or two for our announcer, Stuart Campbell, as well. He certainly, uh, he certainly has no lack of confidence, that's for sure. <laughs> These two have teamed before in Ring of Honor as well, so this is going to be a great team, I have a feeling. Here comes one of my favorite wrestlers of all time. He certainly satiates your appetite for action. He is Cheeseburger. <laughs> and you can see the crowd loves him here. Looks like he's brought extra lettuce here tonight. <laughs> How do you not love cheeseburger, right? <laughs> Even the vegetarians love cheeseburger. Hey, I'm a vegetarian and I do exactly. say I love See? cheeseburger. It's probably the only burger I love. <laughs> and now this is certainly a uh, the fourth member of this team, a uh, an unpredictable wild card. Oh yeah. The very unorthodox Delirious, as he just uh, <laughs> took a, a fan's hat and <laughs> tossed it up into the air. Mary Tyler Moore would be proud. Typical Delirious behavior. Typical in that it's atypical. <laughs> the walking, crawling, bending, kneeling contradiction that is delirious. A lot of the time, I don't even think he knows what he's going to do next. Uh, yeah, you know, I don't know. Definitely has the crowd on his side, though. 
Certainly a formidable combination. But they certainly have their challenge set ahead of them here against four of the finest here at the MFPW. Including starting off with someone who has had a litany of accolades, uh, including most recently this past summer participating in the WWE Cruiserweight Classic, Anthony Bennett. Delirious is coming up with a master plan or something. I don't know. Kneels down in the corner there. <laughs> Perhaps he's, um, I mean, he could be strategizing. He could be, who knows? I mean, who knows, who knows what goes on in that, uh, inside that mask and inside the mind and inside the mask. Anthony Bennett, a former heavyweight champion here at the MFPW, also a former M the MF Live champion, a former two-time Supersonic champion. He's got style to him. I like that hairdo. He does. He... High top fading hip hop parade. There Anthony you go. Bennett. Hey, I like that. Certainly another man with a, a lot of history here at the MFPW, the Freak Beast, Nick Camarado, part of the Beast Cartel. While they've had their struggles here, he comes out alone in this match to team up with other members of the MFPW. That's and again, one big man. Yeah, he most certainly is. And that's why he's a former heavyweight champion, a former three-time tag team champion here at the MFPW. Crowd certainly showing their respect for the big man, although it may possibly be out of fear as well. Who knows? Right now, both of these teams so far are looking very strong. You can hear the ovation for the returning Clutch Adams. Wow. This is his first time back here at the MFPW Arena in roughly six or seven months. The crowd and while Clutch was vilified for a long time here at the MFPW, getting a hero's welcome after the lengthy absence and certainly very accomplished as well, former heavyweight champion, here at the MFPW, as well as a former two-time tag team champion alongside Mike Spanos of Factory's Finest. Nice welcome back chant as well there. Paul's Brewer certainly knows its rhythm, that's for sure. And the crowd certainly loves Cody Vance. Michigan Muscle, the current, the MF Live champion. The title not on the line in this match. It is elimination style. And you can see all eight men gearing up. A little bit of the trash talk going on here as the official looks to get in. Try to separate the two teams, getting one man in. Who will start for each team? You have to wonder what the strategy will be based on the certainly diverse styles of all eight men in this match. But 
even Anthony Bennett, who has uh, seen his share of action here and abroad. Not sure what to make of Delirious as the bell sounds, and Delirious rolling, running, sliding out of the ring now, and making his way outside, making his way back in, and Bennett just looking to defend, and even Cheeseburger not sure what to do, but it looks like that was a tag. So now, a battle of the high flyers here as Cheeseburger and Bennett lock up. Waist lock now by Cheeseburger. Standing switch by Anthony Bennett, showing off that amateur background he has from right here in Paulsboro, New Jersey. Into a front chancery and now reverse once again. This time, riding on top of Cheeseburger is Bennett. Sit out by Cheeseburger. Both men back up to a vertical base. Nice bridge on the part of Cheeseburger. And turning it into the wrist lock, but cartwheel out, nicely done, and great counter on the part of Bennett. Roll through and a kip up by Cheeseburger. Both men just back and forth quicker than a hiccup here, but now the side headlock by Cheeseburger off the rope, drop down by Bennett. And there's the arm drag. And celebrate a little too long there as he gets an arm drag by Cheeseburger. But blocking here, and now both men. Neither man has, seems to have any momentum. They're kind of a stalemate here. Now they both go for an Irish whip and both block it. And now we're back to an even stance here. Both men so evenly matched. So now looking to change up the strategy a little bit. Clutch Adams tagging in for the MFPW team. Will Ferreira team coming in for Team ROH as both men lock up. Into a waist lock now by Adams. Standing switch by Ferreira. Looking to get the half Nelson, but instead turning it into a hammer lock and a snapmare takeover. Oh, but, but a quick reversal. Yeah, qu quickly rolling through his clutch, and now he has the hammer lock. But Delirious in the ring and right back out. As Ferreira bridging up and quickly getting into the headlock is clutch, whip off the ropes, drop down, going for the hip toss and he gets it there, but holding onto the arm and scissoring it down. Look at that submission. But trying to power out of it here with a one count is clutch. Trying to utilize the size and strength advantage that he has over Will Pereira. And now clutch looking for a handshake. Here. I wouldn't trust him. And now Anthony Bennett doing his best delirious impression. Oh, but Ferreira too smart for the handshake kick there. And schoolboy roll up here, only a one count. And now into an inside cradle, and that just barely gets a two. Adams charging again, but this time is caught and looks like a possible backslide, but no, a knee into the midsection by Clutch Adams and a left hand. And now Adams in control here. Irish swift to the near side, up and over goes Ferreira, oh, but no, right clipping the out the arm is Adams. And here's the lateral press, just gets a one count. And right into the corner to tag in Michigan muscle, Cody Vance, who delivers a boot to Will Ferreira. Now the double team here, uh, pair of back elbows. Will that be enough to, for our first elimination? No, only a two count. Team the MFPW isolating in the corner, but Michigan Muscle, Cody Vance, a little bit of overconfidence there, letting him think about it with the body slam and the two count. Give him that extra split second to think about it, and now the quick tag's coming into play as back in comes Clutch Adams. Strategy seems to be keeping the freak beast on the outside, at least for the moment. Smart move by Will there. As charging in was oh. yeah, ducking there, and uh, now all of a sudden Team ROH is in control. As now the uh, the tag and the multi-man teaming here, a clothesline by Delirious, a right forearm by Cheeseburger, drop toe hold by Ferreira, and a step stool elbow drop. 
and a running frog splash. Will that be enough here? And it is. And it's now four to three, but not paying attention. The schoolboy there is Cody Vance trying to quickly even it up, but Rhett Titus with the right hand. Oh, and a huge clothesline by Cody Vance. Oh, and another one. Ducking the clothesline attempt, ducking the back elbow attempt is Vance, and oh, what a shoulder block. Utilizing all that upper body strength. Ducks the right hand there and you know, drops say, him for that one with the two. Close. This is my first time seeing Cody's work, and I'm very impressed. I'm kind of worried here. Team ROH with the four to three advantage at the moment, and going for the back body drop, ducking a little early as Vance. The blind tag made, Cody didn't see it. The jawbreaker, and now dropped again by Will Ferrer. Here's the cover here for a pinfall and now the MF Live champion is out now a 4-2 to lead yeah. for Team Ring of Honor but now the waist lock O'Connor roll attempt held on by Pereira and oh. leaping through with the right hand and another one is Bennett I don't know I think ROH might have this in the bag oh, we'll see here we've got the wheelbarrow oh. Oh, and he drops him there. The, but only a two count. We've seen him put a few people away with that here. Going up to the top here, what's he gonna do? Might we see? Oh, no water in the pool on that one as he went for the headbutt that missed and now tagged in is Rhett Titus and oh huge goodness. German suplex. Rocking Bennett all the way to the corner. and Oh, what a boot. Nearly decapitating and scalping Bennett at the same time. And now Rhett Titus going to the top for a high risk maneuver. Oh, and there it is, the frog splash. Could we see a four to one lead? Yes, we do. Oh, wow. Team Ring of Honor making short work. And now it's just down to the Freak Beast. His first action here in this match. And the MFPW faithful while they may not be a fan of the Beast Cartel, they're getting behind the Freak Beast here, representing their organization. And now the tag made, but thrown to the outside is Titus. And now here's a series of forearms by Pereira, but just getting shoved off by the Freak Beast. And oh, what oh, a clothesline. Come on, we'll get up. That is a massive man. Amarada was sizing him up, but took a little long, and Prairie able to deliver the right hand. Oh, to, no. Oh, but oh. what a full Nelson slam. Could that possibly? Oh, no. It does. That reduces the odds somewhat as Will Ferreira eliminated. Now it is three on one, but here comes Rhett Titus from behind, laying those forearms into the Freak Beast. I want to reverse knife edge as well, just peppering him with shots. Off the rope, tried for a slam, slipping behind, and oh, what an elbow right in the mush. And, and oh, another one. full Nelson oh. slam. Could this make it two to one now? Yes, oh, it no. does. The Freak Beast just steamrolling over Team Ring of Honor, and now Delirious and Cheeseburger on the outside having a consult de determining who will be coming in next. The referee issuing a count. And it I looks like Delirious, very unpredictable, stepping in over the bottom rope. And now both men face to face. Delirious on two knees, Camarado on one, and now they both slowly rise to a vertical base. They are nose to nose. The unpredictability of Delirious and the just raw power of the Freak Beast and a forearm by Delirious, but oh, oh wow. Goodness. The Freak Beast responding in kind, but Delirious almost looked like he enjoyed it. And now another forearm that sends the Freak Beast, Nick Camarado, back a couple of steps, and neither men wanted to go down, but Delirious is reeling, using the 
bottom rope to maintain some semblance of a vertical base. And now, a series of five make it six, seven forearms, just laying them in unrelentingly. The Freak Beast is staggered, but oh, no. catches him right into the full oh. Nelson slam, and down goes Delirious, and might it be one-on-one? -on -one? No! Wow, that was close. Delirious having the wherewithal to kick out, and the Freak Beast is, is beside himself. Delirious reeling in the corner, Camarado firing up. Oh, Burger's but coming in. Cheeseburger oh. coming in and applying the sleeper. Delirious is the legal man, then oh. just snapping over Cheeseburger is Camarado, but he's gearing up for what might be a spear from the corner, and he misses both of them. Both men duck out of the way. That's a... What a shot from Cheeseburger, and a knee. That running knee from Delirious. Now Cheeseburger. Oh, the drop kick. Oh, and another one, that one legged drop kick. Make it three. Meanwhile, Delirious on the top rope. Oh, boom. He just That's it. That splashes it. right onto the back. And here's the cover. And wait a minute. Making their way into the ring. It's, it's the rest of the Beat, Beast Cartel. Congo doing here. The referee calling for the bell, Wildman Congo and Ryan Galeone. The other members of the Beast Cartel laying into Team Ring of Honor. Here comes Will Ferreira back in, and Congo has a series of forearms for him as well. I don't understand what's going and on. Now, wait. Why, are, why, are they, why are they doing this? Anthony Bennett in here, and, and Congo's laying him out as well. It's, it's the Beast Cartel taking on both Team Ring of Honor and Team the MFPW. Wildman Congo and Ryan Galeone laying out everyone. But wait, Nick Camarado on his feet and oh he spears man. both of Spear. them. Nick Camarado spearing his supposed members wow. of the Beast Cartel. Didn't see that one coming. And now Team Ring of Honor and Team the MFPW and Nick Camarado, dare I say, formerly of the Beast Cartel? MFPW and Ring of Honor with a close relationship and Congo and Ryan, I guess, don't approve? I'm not sure. I, I'm. Your guess is as good as mine with that, but now here comes the rest of the teams. It looks Rhett to me Titus, like Clutch Adams. Together. All eight men in the ring looking to stare down and fend off the Beast Cartel. Wildman Congo and Ryan Galeone reeling and making their way to the back. Galeone yelling, what are you doing to Camarado? MFPW and ROH stand together strong. And there it is, all eight men Sending off the Beast Cartels, Wildman Congo, and Ryan Galeone. What can this mean for Nick Camarado going forward? Uh, your guess is as good as mine on that one. And now the handshake between Camarado and Delirious. Show of respect here. Respect all around. What, what does this mean for Nick Camarado? What does this mean for the Beast Cartel? There's been a lot of confusion among the ranks of the Beast Cartel over the course of the recent times here. And now this is creating more confusion as Nick Camarado spearing his now presumably former stable mates from the Beast Cartel. Very interested to see where this is gonna go. 